So navigating to our blog post folder, we've just received a, a creative request to post a blog about the top five ballparks in professional baseball, which will require images of each stadium on the list. As our creative team works to put together the content and layout of this blog, it's essential for the team to be on the same page in regards to which digital assets we'll be using. This is where connecting binder is key. So let's go into our request graphics task and as I click, click on the Attach Files button, it's going to give you the additional option to pull from Binder. Going into Binder, this will give us access to a window into our DAM account with the list of either brands or collections to choose from. However, I also have the ability to search for image titles, attributes, and keywords from the top right. But from here, I'm just going to go into the collections and I'm going to choose the ballparks collection. So now that I'm in this specific collection, I can attach the right files directly to right tasks to avoid questions or confusion and help ensure visual brand consistency across this project. So I'm gonna choose all three here. I'm going to attach these files. And these images are now accessible to anyone in Reich who has visibility into this specific blog post task. From here, I have the option to download the image to my local storage. I can set an approval on this image, or if I click the image, it will open up the proofing window where I can add additional markup to this asset. Now, on the other hand, let's take a look at what the workflow might look like for uploaded, uploading images into Binder. Moving on to the next task, finalizing the hero image. Our graphic designer has worked on and uploaded a draft of the hero image for the blog post and has set an approval for the creative director. So taking a look at the image, we decide that everything seems good to go and we're going to approve the asset. Now, um, I'm going to want to upload this into Binder. So all I have to do is right click the image, click publish to Binder, and that pop-up window uh, that we saw earlier is um, going, that gives us access to our binder account will reappear once again. So now I'm gonna choose that I wanna just put it in our default collection, click next. And now we can input any data that might be relevant to that image to store within binder. So first I'm going to input the title. Input the description. And now I can also include any meta properties that might be relevant. And something interesting to note real quick is that if you look, the asset type meta property has been auto-populated. And this is because uh, right custom field data can be linked to binder meta properties as long as they have the same name and they're the same data type. So this is a small piece of automation that can save you a lot of uh, time um, just by setting up so th some of that custom field data with, uh, that might relate to these meta properties. So now I'm going to publish, confirm, and this image asset is now going to be published to our binder account. And you can tell by this little image icon that indicates it is a now binder file. So bringing this all together with Reich's binder integration, you're able to publish, find, and use approved assets faster and easier than ever before, making it a necessary part of any marketing team looking to execute brilliant on-brand cross-channel campaigns.